That is the hole. The 22 pellet punches. And majority of them is punched by H&M Barracuda Hunter Extreme. And you can tell some of them even push in. Quite a bit impact on the, the steel tin and all this the back. Some barely punch through. Most of them has gone out of the, the back. The amount of power this needs to punch through this and rip a hole through just like that. It is incredible. I mean how much power do you how much work do you need to punch through this thing? It's, uh, it's crazy. And I shoot from a very askew angle. You can see how much it punches in from the side. Even ripped the thing open. I mean, I dare you to grab a hammer and try to rip this thing open. Like that. It would be really hard. As soon as that like, grace over on that end. And that's a grace over. It's incredible. And I shot few with a Barracuda Hunter. It's Hunter and versus Hunter Extreme. So let's really take a look. This is the few I found inside the can. Okay. And I know the reason some didn't punch through. Because I have a stuffed toy inside of this this tin. So I might hit the stuffed toy, slowed it down. The majority of this went straight through. Okay. Um, let's look at this one first. Sure you can see it from the camera. So you can zoom. The camera zoomed really well. Okay, you see that in the camera? This piece, there's a cross across it. So this is from the Barracuda Extreme. Which used to look like this. And if I grab one out to compare. I mean... See if I can get a really good zoom on this thing. You see that? It's basically a hex. If you play um, Red Dead Redemption 2, you know how they have the ammo with the cross ones? You have to craft yourself. Basically, it's this. Instead of expanding, it actually didn't expand. Okay? That's one. Here's another one. Let me grab the Barracuda Hunter out. The Hunter Extreme. See if this camera will zoom on its own. Come on, zoom, zoom. So it actually shrinked the diameter of the hull. The hull got smaller. So it wasn't expanding, actually compressed in. Okay, no expansion but compressed in. And let's look at this one. This one is really interesting. This one has mushed. Mushed. Okay. The hole got smaller and mushed. Somewhat expanding, I guess. But not expanding inward, but expanding outward. Uh, let's see, this one. S same result. More of a mushroom. But the hole in the middle. Maybe that's what they were trying to do. They were trying to expand in a different direction. And this one. Okay. So I figure, it's, instead of we thinking it's gonna expand like this and peel backwards, it expanded by pushing it in and the hole got smaller so the entire diameter got bigger. And that's what happened with this one. With this one, it basically did nothing. It just expands inward. On the, on the packaging of this, it peels out like a banana. So in this case, it didn't peel out the banana when it hits this. It clapped in. So that's the little test. I have to say the 22 pellet at 1000 FPS does a lot of damage on this. No wonder the squirrels and rats after one hit, they're pretty much down after 25, at 25 yards, 17 to 25 yards. It's hard to survive this. It will 
punch through their body easily. So I was looking at the holes that peel that the pellet hits. You can tell it goes in. Put a put a fairly big dent into it, right? But where's the metal go for that piece? Then I was looking inside the box, and it looks exactly like this. Let me flip it around. Like this one. It basically bursts open and peel the metal piece back up back up. Until from all this impact. This one rips right through the middle. Like a flower. It it rips right right open like a piece of paper. And Let's see if you look at this, how soft is this? This is not, I'm pushing it. This is a hard piece of metal. And I can't even bend this. This is, oh, this is, yeah. So it went through this tin, it went through the first one, peeled the first one and peeled the second one, and the pellet kept going. This is a lot of force, basically, just to do this amount of damage. Incredible, incredible.